Or guys, so welcome back once again. If you are someone new to my channel, my name is Niklesh. I'm presuming that since you have clicked on this video, you are someone who is either pursuing mechanical engineering and now you're thinking to come here in Germany for your masters or you could be someone who has graduated now working in the space of mechanical or process engineering or industrial engineering or any of the spaces of mechanical engineering now that you're thinking of coming here for masters this is the video for you so I'm taking help of presentation here in this video if you want to jump directly onto the part where I'm talking about universities directly go on to this number or continue watching from here on because I'm not just only going to be talking about universities, but also things around that. So before we begin, there is a Google form in the description of this video. You can jump onto that and fill in your details. We'll stay in touch. We'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support, whether it's this year, 2022 or for next year, 2023. So let's begin. So masters in mechanical engineering here in Germany, by the way, I have my email ID right here, nd at nikshala.com if you want to get in touch with me to talk about your profile. If some of you are interested to have this presentation, I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form. If you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile, um, people also, you know, very often book personal appointment with me. So you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment. I've been doing this long enough now for a little over four or five years now. And I've seen thousands of students and, and I'm happy to tell you that I've been part of their success story. And exactly by doing that, mentorship was actually born. Uh, I learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts. And uh, that's how I've designed my 12 months of program. You can easily become part of it by enrolling it, by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description, I'm going to drop a link there. This mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in India and it only stops here in Germany when you're on a part-time job. So that's how the whole chapters are designed. Some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here, but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep so to begin with if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's, what you studied, bachelor's in mechanical in India, let's say for example, to bachelor's here in Germany in mechanical. And what you have to see is your university has something called as H+. So I'll quickly show you how you can check your university, whether it's approved by Anabin or not. Just go on Google and type anabin.de. When you're here, go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english oh my selection i think it's there from previously so it's selected india in your case you have to open country selection and just press i and it will show india or a list of countries with i confirm place where in india let's say i want to check mumbai i'm going to go and type m and then say uh, mumbai maharashtra so this is where you will see amity university mumbai uh, it's a private university and it's h plus that means it's approved and likewise you have to go and look for your university you can change the city name to something else wherever you come from you know and then uh, let's say Mangalore, you can see it right here. Okay. So for example, this university, it's H minus. Now that this university is H minus, this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from Anabin. And there's a altogether different process, which I don't want to get into right now. But yes, make sure that your university is H plus. List of documents, what you need to apply in a university which is uh, right here, nine things uh, primarily. Bachelor's degree, transcripts for all eight semesters, consolidated mark sheets, or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester, then provisional degree. You need SOP. Let's say you're applying for 10 different universities, then you need 10 different SOPs uh, designed. 
you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or eca stands for extra curricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers uh cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh, you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application so there are two intakes in germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15 sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15 so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you will have to check on the course website now if you've seen me talking about german gpa so this is what the breakdown of german gpa is so one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, high cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on this is where i'm going to tell you which are the universities for mechanical engineering you need so i'm going to click here All right so let me quickly show you how you can find top mechanical engineering courses for masters go on google and type dart international programs click here and uh, come to study programs in languages language courses once you're here scroll down a bit and uh, go to international programs so once you're on this page uh, go into the search bar and type msc in mechanical engineering course type masters course language english and field is engineering now there are total of 296 programs but you we still have to filter these out so 296 results are there we can still go ahead and refine this further uh come down to on the left hand side there is tuition fees let's go ahead and select tuition fees up to 500 euros per semester and beginning for winter intake since we are focusing on that you can go ahead and filter this further more in subjects go into mechanical engineering these are the results what you see uh, 60 uh, and uh, let's go into one of these so mechanical engineering in uh, th lubeck this is what you get to see the overview um, go into the requirements and this is where they talk about they need 210 credits and your score should be uh, overall 2.5 german gpa or equivalent you know so this is where they have written down so what you just saw is i showed you how to filter these things out what i'll do is i'll try to give this link hopefully it works for you in the description of this video so that uh, you can directly get to this result and start sorting out uh, courses as per your requirement there are total of 6 pages you can go to page number 2 and start working on the university shortlisting start making this university in an excel sheet all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it so in nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what i've seen over the course of time you're on google make sure that you go ahead and 
make this on Google Sheet right here. Now that you're here, uh, first of all, go ahead and change the name of the file university. So this is a kind of structure what I personally uh, would like to have when it comes to, you know, shortlisting of the university. It starts with serial number right here. Then it goes on to university and uh, under university, there is two types. One is the university name and the type of university. So if it's TU, then you write TU right here. Okay. Uh, and then there's a course. Uh, what course is this? So, you know, in this case, it's computational engineering. You can see that how many semesters the program is off. What is the deadline? Does it require you to have German or not? Does it require you to have IELTS or not? Uh, what is the prerequisite? Have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need? What GPA, what German GPA does it require? Like, for example, 2.5 first class with distinction ECTS requirement if it's 210 or 180. If it requires SOP or not, if it's yes, then just type yes. LOR, then how many LORs? If you have given test AS or GRE, what has been your score here? Mode of application, is it via UniAssist or is it via direct portal, you know? Then the, the course website, as you can see, it's right here. It's displaying out. And if you have any email ID of the course coordinator. This is the typical format I like to follow here. It has proven to be very successful for last so many years. I've used this format with different students. So this is where I'm going to start talking about when a student comes here, what specializations do they take? And after taking that specialization, where do they go and work in which industry? And I've seen design of machine elements. I've seen people taking specialization into this and going deeper into this. I've also seen people going into thermal science and engineering, and I've seen people going into thermodynamics and making their career out of that, uh, fluid mechanics. So these are topic within itself. You can specialize yourself and become, you can become a subject matter expert. And there are enough jobs out there into these areas, what I've mentioned here. Uh, manufacturing science, you go into the production processes, advanced production processes, material sciences. So these are streams within itself you can specialize yourself and every university pretty much has this uh, specializations under the branch of mechanical engineering uh, industrial engineering uh, again there's a altogether different masters itself on this and within masters of in in industrial engineering i've seen people doing project management production planning production control industrial management operations research so yeah, so on and so forth. And then there are multidisciplinary uh, departments where you can specialize yourself, like automobile engineering, aerospace engineering, nuclear engineering, uh, nanotechnology, textile engineering. We are on the last slide. Uh, if you want to get enrolled for the program, you can just click right here. Uh, as I said, you can have this PDF for yourself and uh, yeah, get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you out. So yeah. If you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents, go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help, but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh, because that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So having said that, thank you so much. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.